With Chief Petty Officer Selection Boards just around the corner, sailors are reminded to ensure their official military personnel file, or OMPF, is current and accurate. Force Master Chief John Port discusses the information found in an OMPF. Your education level is right across the top. Uh, it shows me your, uh, your surface warfare, air warfare, naval air crewmen, whatever your qualifications are. Shows me your NECs, shows me your awards. So right from there, I have a snapshot of the person that I'm getting ready to look at. At that point, the selection board then goes on and begins to review all the documentation that supports that cover sheet. Sailors can review their OMPF online by visiting bol.navy.mil and selecting the OMPF My Record link under the application menu. Candidates may submit any missing, new, or additional information to be considered via letter to the board. These letters must be received by Navy Personnel Command Customer Service Center by April 22nd for full-time support and May 28th for the Active Component Board. Uh, so from the service member's perspective, I need to know that the paper's right because they're not going to see me. They don't see a picture. Uh, they don't have a, a member of my command speaking on my behalf. Uh, all they have is paper. That service record is you in front of the selection board. The full-time support E7 selection board is scheduled to convene May 13th and the active component selection board is scheduled to convene June 17th. The active component chief petty officer board is the largest selection board conducted in the Navy and typically lasts four weeks. For more information, see NAV Admin 294-12 at npc.navy.mil. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Amara Timberlake.